Today I will show you how to make the sick film green color correction. Yo, hello, it's Povikas from Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. So the first thing you'll want to do is press Ctrl Alt Y to make a new adjustment layer, and the first effect that you will add is noise. Without this effect I cannot imagine this color correction because this is basically the film grain. So in the amount of noise you want to make this to 10, and uncheck use color noise. Now we need to add color balance. All right, make shadow red balance two, shadow green balance minus two, shadow blue balance two, midtone red balance two, midtone green balance minus two, midtone blue balance two, midtone red balance two, uh, highlight green balance minus two, and highlight blue balance two. And that's pretty much it. Of course, you can change around here a bit more. Uh, you can, for example, make the red a bit more. So like red balance like four or something. And then blue, just keep it at two probably. But to be fair, you can do whatever. Now you will want to add curves. Now, of course, everybody knows that a color correction needs curves, but these are going to be just a tad bit different here. So you will start off by adding one point here and one point here. And now you want to make this a bit down. I'd say like this down, right, somewhere like right here. And this one a tad bit up, but still a bit down like from the square, right? That's good. Now you'll want to add one point here and one point here and make this point go a bit down and this point just to the middle and just extend it a bit here. And now go down here, add one point here, and add one point here, and uh, make this just go here, like a bit down here, and this one up. These are not your typical curves here. And another effect we will add is Lumetri Color. It will take a really long time to explain Lumetri Color, so just copy the settings that I have here. So just look here. In basic correction, I have these settings like this. In creative, I have it as this. In curves, I have it just, well, actually super simple, you know, nothing really going on here. And then nothing really here and correction, nothing really here. In Vignette, you will have to actually change a couple of settings. So for example, you will need to make the amount minus 04, midpoint 30 and feather 99. And now you should also check this one out because I made the shadow tint go a bit down here, uh, highlight tint go a bit up saturation a bit to 136 and here i also changed up a couple of settings in the basic correction also i tried to correct the curves just a bit more as well like so if you can copy exactly like this it will be perfect for you honestly the last thing you will need to add on this color correction is glow you can add a no plugins glow which is just a simple glow uh, you know just come in here and add glow this glow and you will need to add it on top of color balance and i don't know you can mess around like make the glow radius like high and then glow intensity maybe like this glow threshold like this and just uh, copy paste on a bunch of these and just really mess around you know and you make the intensity lower on both but i personally don't like this uh, as you can see I, I don't really like it like this so i don't do it with the simple glow although you can do this with the simple glow and basically a cheat is to just have deep glow here so add deep glow of course if you have it this is a plugin and add deep glow on top of color balance now okay holy sh this is uh, way too glowy, so you, I mean, maybe you're into this. Uh, oh no, sorry, not into this. Maybe you like it like this glowy. It can look cool like this, okay, sure. Or there are places where this can look really cool. I think for a simple color correction, you don't need to go like this, although this looks coolish as hell. But what I do is lower this to 0 0.05 and I make the radius 562. You can of course make the exposure higher and you can add other different effects. This is just for your imagination. In combination with this color correction, you can add a lot of like glitches or any other effects or other effects from our editing visuals website. In the website, we have a bunch of great editing packs. For example, my VHS pack, which has over 120 overlays and over 10 presets and even has tutorials in which I show you how to make the things that I have on the screen right now. I can, for example, show you what you can do with just a couple of overlays from this pack. So here I have my pack opened and you can go to like VHS glitch overlays right here. But I really like this overlay on like a film green color correction. So just drag and drop. Nice, drag it here. It's gonna be zoomed in because it's 4K and I have it at 180p. So press S and then make the scale to 50 something and then right click on it, press blending mode and make it overlay. I think this will actually look better if I make it go a bit down. Put it below your color correction and it just will look absolutely stunning. I mean, I really like how this makes your clips look. This is definitely one of my favorite overlays on the pack. Uh, you can add way more overlays, for example. Another great one is VHS overlay 55. Just 
dragon and drop. Again, just make it go here. Go make it go below your color correction. Zoom it out to like 50 because it is double the zoom in and go to blending mode, go to overlay. You can get this like super cool glitch. I think it looks super cool on the cars. Yeah, I, I know just, just this in general is super good to have in your videos. This little glitch right here, like, oh man. I think it fits so well with this color correction. And if you want to have these overlays, the link will be in the description. I hope you guys learned something. I'll make sure to really try out different settings. And that's pretty much it. All right, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.